So this question looks like it's gonna be a plug in your own number question. Again, I usually say that anytime I see variables in the answer choices, it's not a very common thing to experience. So whenever it happens, uh, typically the first thought for me is plug in your own number. It's usually, it usually works out that way. So the question says for every positive two digit number, so I'm just gonna write two digits, X with tens digit T, okay, so X is equal to a two digit number, and the tens digit of that two digit number is T, and the units digit is U, okay, got it. Let Y be the two digit number formed by reversing the digits of X, okay, so that means that Y would equal U and then T. Which of the following expressions is equivalent to X minus Y? So we want to figure out what X minus Y is. So here we go. With plugging your own number, I'm going to figure, I'm going to choose my own number for T. I'm going to call it two. So I like to, I like two whenever I use plugging your own number. And then because I need to choose another number as well, I'm going to stay small and choose three. That would mean that X is the number 23 and Y is the number 32. So given that I chose those numbers, that means that X minus Y would equal 23 minus 32, which is equal to negative nine. So that's my first step for plugging your own number. My next step is to take these exact same numbers, so T being two and U being three, and to see when I plug those into the answer choices, where do I get a negative nine answer, right? So initial step for plugging your own number is to choose your numbers, plug them into the question, find an answer. The second step is to find the match or find which answer choice matches the answer that you got when you plugged your number or numbers into the question. So I'm going to just make some more space here. This is not so relevant anymore. So get rid of that. I'll even get rid of this. So for choice F, it says nine times T minus U. So my T is two, my U is three. Two minus three is negative one. Nine times negative one is negative nine. And that is exactly, right, what I got here. So I'm pretty sure that choice F is the correct answer. I'm always a little hesitant um, when I'm plugging in my own number to choose the first answer that works. So I'm gonna just confirm that the rest of these answers do not work. So choice G would be nine and then U minus T, so three minus two. So that's not going to equal negative nine, right? That would equal positive nine. And then H is equal to nine times T, so nine times two minus three. That also does not equal negative nine, right? That would equal 15. And J is equal to nine times U, so that's nine times three minus two. That also does not equal negative nine, that'd be 25. And choice K, of course, uh, does not equal negative nine because it's zero. So now I'm very confident that F is correct and I can move on with confidence to the next question.